Good evening. This is your boy, Elijah. Welcome back to um, seeing what's going on with me, right? Um, I'll be brief, have somewhere to go. That's why I'm dressed up. I'll be going to a gala for the uh, men's, it's a men's, <laughs> Men's City uh, Women's Clinic. And so um, I am going to, you know, be as brief as I can because uh, I have to be there pretty shortly. But I wanted to stop delaying um, me uh, posting and letting people know where I'm at. And so uh, as it relates to uh, the gr grieving of my, my, my wife, Jania Glenn, uh, th this week has been pretty interesting because I have these highs and lows uh really like a roller coaster there were some days that i was at eights you know um and then there was days that i was at six and a half and then like today starting off the morning i thought i was at six and a half but i mean i broke down into tears uh doing bible study for with the kids uh about um you know just thinking about jen and 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 realizing our, that she's not here and what that feels like <clears throat> was was um was a uh, I don't know the words but it, it was very hurtful and I I'm appreciative of my kids who were there uh, to kind of to to console me but my sons you know they just sit back and listen and because uh, I, as I was crying and I finished crying I just was talking to them about what my what was going on in my mind about not having her here uh and uh, my youngest son was like covering his head right and then my other son he was just listening and then gianna she came over and uh hugged me you know and pat me on my back and uh when i asked ethan what was he doing later he said well i was just praying for you you know just that god would, would help you and so that was appreciative my my youngest she's uh, hanging out with um, with my aunt. So I wanted to also kind of give some shout outs to the different people that have helped me be at eights, you know, uh, from Chris Jones to uh, Abram uh, to Shani to Chris Burton, John Miller, my aunt Susan, uh, cousin Kiana, uh, Kathy for writing a, a letter to me, um, the Barkers, uh, my counselor, uh, my grief share family, uh, Jimmy Sunday School uh, class that invited me over, um, me and my family for for dinner last week. Um, that was that was really good, and they they uh, made us a brisket, which my kids love tremendously. And so um, I, I believe that uh, like that, that 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 last Friday to this Friday, this roller coaster of emotions um, at times is. Uh, it's stressful because I don't, you know, I don't have control of it at all. It seems like I don't. Uh, but the thing that has happened for me that has been very helpful is is um, is relying on the word of God. When when I wh whether I hear a song, you know, for example, and forgive me, I may ramble. I I don't I don't, uh, I, I don't have a plan of where I want to go, what I say, but the. Uh, I've heard this one song by, I want to say it's a Casting Crowns, um, Scars, Scars in Heaven or something like that. Several people have sent me that song and I listened to it, but today it struck a different chord in me and uh, I began to to reminisce and understand what the, the words meant to me and, and what... Um, I can do with those words that Jen is in heaven and the, the only scars or, you know, the pain that she would be feeling um, or no more. And, and, and she, the only scars are in heaven are the ones that are in God's hands from Jesus hands from being crucified. Right. And, and that was that was uh, appreciative because I understand that where she's at, as I continue to say, um, but it's just coming to to a realization of that she's not here with me 
and the kids, right? And so uh, as I moved through through my journey, people have been doing a really fascinating job. Uh, I forgot about uh, my, my nene. Uh, that's my aunt, Cynthia, who uh, came by um, and just sat with me and just talked, you know, and just listened. Uh, and, uh, and that was very, very helpful, uh, because I don't always give those conversations, conversations, um, people blessing us left and right, uh, continuously, uh, you know, or, or somebody would send a scripture that was the very helpful to me in, in realizing who God is, you know, and I, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to, to be right like grieving is it will probably everybody has a different time frame but one of the lessons that i'm learning is how impressive or how impressive the holy spirit is to um to comfort me right and to the point that i was i felt i felt uh guilty for feeling good like having a, a positive day uh without being somber right and uh, I, I was feeling like uh i did i wasn't loving my wife or i didn't love my wife because i'm like okay it's, it hasn't been that long and um that this wasn't all week but this was like a part in the week um that, that i had those moments and then when you know i was able to get some uh, uh, affirmations of, of course, I love my wife, right? Uh, I honored her. I was faithful to her. Um, you know, um, I made sure that she had everything that she needed. Uh, and, and, and then some at times, you know, and it has been uh, like the day I say the days that I had, I would say I was at an eight. I was able to uh, be productive in my day. Like I was able to um, get things done. I was able to help my kids. I, I had energy um, and I, I went to sleep at it. Even if I didn't go to sleep at a good, a good time, uh, at a reasonable time, uh, I was able to still get up and, and do things that I needed to do to be productive. The uh, matter of fact, will help me out to slow me down because the, the cause since the game is different for me, I use the sports analogy. When you first start playing a sport, the game is so fast. You know nothing. Uh, 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 you may know what to do, but is everything is fast. Well, I took a break for about a day and a half. Um, and, and and shout out to Ariel. Can't, can't believe I forgot uh, my brother-in-law who came over to, to watch the kids uh, for me. And I was able to just work away for for a couple of days and 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 not be too far from the kids because I couldn't I couldn't deal with myself being far away. So was, I was only I just went to a uh, Airbnb just to kind of see if I was um, going through the motions of my grief process, just trying to go to the next stage or get through the next stage. Was I or or was I like was I being distracted? You know, with the things that I have to do um was i being distracted or was i grieving you know in a in a uh, productive manner to where it allows me to heal and so i was able to to do that like i was able to see that uh i have i have been grieving in the way that god has uh allowed me to or wanted me to or however word you want to put there uh shout out to my aunt janet you know, she called me last week just to to check up on me. And, um, you know, I appreciate that. And if I forgot somebody, just charge it to my head, please. And I'll, to my heart, you can text me and let me know. Listen, he, you didn't say me. Right. You know, you can do that. I'm cool with that. Um, you know, uh, my, my mentor, um, uh, Dr. Johnson, Dr. Crutchfield uh, checks up on me um, pretty regularly. And uh, I'm just appreciative, you know, that um, God has allowed me to have as many people in my life to be my support. 
shout out to the funeral director at Lucas Funeral Home who, um, you know, encouraged me and that she's been praying for me uh, because I, I need it. We all need prayer. And this, this, uh, this process has also shown me that I have not been there for people that have lost people, you know, um, that. And, 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 I'm, and I apologize for that, um, not reaching out and uh, checking on you, uh, because that's what we're called to do as believers is to uh, love one another. Right. So I'm going to have to try to do I'm going to have to do better at that. Um, also, in this process, it has shown me uh, that I also need to let uh, godly people be godly people. Right. Like I, there, there are some times that I don't I can say no or I don't need that. I'm cool. But there are other times that I need to just be OK with with them saying, OK, can I do this for you or what can I do for you? Because they, they can't be uh, the church without you allowing them to be. So not being stubborn or, you know, being being OK with that. Somebody wants to do something for you. So that has, that's been one of the lessons that I've learn this week. And so um, I didn't want to be before you long, but I definitely wanted to, I definitely wanted to let people know what's up, uh, destined for greatness. You may be already great, you dig? Blessings to you. Um, it has been, um, something that I had to realize as far as like life and death are connected right and i just n didn't think that it would it, i would have to experience it so soon and and that is somewhat of arrogance of me and and i've been humbled um and so with that i gotta get going um i love you all that that have ch you know checked in with me uh, those that praying for me thought about me um whatever you did you know oh cousin zach you know who um checks up on me and specifically you know uh my kids so i really appreciate him um I, i'm sure i'm missing somebody but i apologize if, if i do uh michael Samano, uh who, you know we're, we're trying to do a song together you know trying to bring back some of my rap skills if you will see i just did that that was like not intentional um absolutely destined for greatness you enjoy your day too man i appreciate the prayers bro i'll be praying for you as well man uh, that you reach everything that that god has in front of you and so i just want you to know that this is something that can be done um even though it's hard i pray that you rely on the holy spirit to guide you through and if you don't know Christ, get to know him and, and you'll see what I mean when I say that you can lean on him. Um, and so without further ado, you know, love you too, man. Love you too, man. You you the man for sure, Mr. John Miller. So um, that's all I got. Uh, I, I sound like a Baptist preacher trying to figure out the next thing to say. Uh, but October 14th, um, we... Uh, I'll be doing a celebration for my uh, wife, Janir Glenn. People can tune in to uh, hear what people have to say about her. And um, it, it's going to be an incredible day. Um, so, it, you know, if you subscribe, then you'll be able to get the notification. So if if you like what, what you see, what you what you hear, if you feel like this helps somebody, um, you know, please, please um, let somebody know, because I want to I want people uh, to know that that there is a, 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 a grieving process that is um, a, a productive if they give their life to Christ, because there's no way that you can do it without him. That's what's up, Destined for Greatness. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, and share it with, you, with somebody that you think would, would benefit from this. Um, thank you so much. Uh, this is your boy, Elijah, signing off. Deuces until next time.